Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi Pink Villa, this is Diana Penty and I'm going to tell you what I eat in a day and what I do to stay fit. Ah, uh, I have to admit I am. <laughs> I've kind of always been uh, skinny from the time I was very little and in fact in the beginning I used to try really hard to put on weight because you know I hated the fact that I was the skinniest person in class and everybody you know used to be like oh no doesn't she eat doesn't she eat and I used to hate it uh, so I used to like you know eat bananas and try all these various diets to kind of put on weight and it never worked and then finally I just gave up and I was like you know what I'm going to embrace my skinniness and use it to my advantage uh, which kind of helped when I was a model uh, and yeah I and I love food I'm a huge foodie so it's really difficult for me to diet and I hear the word diet and I run the other way so uh so yeah it's i'm i've been lucky enough so far you know to be blessed with genes that uh can let me eat whatever i want and exercise to the minimal uh i well i cannot do without a um, face wash moisturizer and sunscreen sunscreen i mean it depends on you know whether i remember to put it on or not but it's really important and i know that uh but yeah a light uh, you know moisturizer whether it's really hot and sunny and humid outside or not it's still and whether you have oily skin or not it's still really important to moisturize your skin which is something i learned along the way uh and so that's in the morning and before going to bed at night uh and yeah face wash <laughs> breakfast for me is uh, one of my most important meals in the day i mean i just feel like the day goes better if you you know have a good breakfast in the morning not eating and stepping out of the house and get, carrying on with your days usually ends up in a really bad day for me uh i The first thing I do when I wake up is I I love my chai. So chai is, you know, my first go-to in the morning. Uh on a healthy day, I I try doing green tea as opposed to, you know, regular chai to knock out the the milk and sugar. Um but mostly it's regular chai. If I'm feeling really healthy, then there are certain days that I, you know, cold press my own juice, uh fruit juice usually. So it's, you know, kale, cucumber, um some green apple, uh and no added sugar or anything. And it's really refreshing. Um and then my meal for breakfast is usually two eggs and uh, toast. Um sometime mid mid morning if I I I'm not a very early riser, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm usually like 9 a.m. kind of wake up types. <laughs> But uh I tried really hard to, to you know to start my day early, to wake up really early in the morning, but it just doesn't work with me. So I you know now on if I'm not working, I usually wake up around 9:00 9:30. Uh so my breakfast is like I said the eggs and then around 11 11:30 is when I tend to get a little nibblish again so maybe just a banana or you know some nuts um I try to do, to be healthy because you know come lunch uh it's all about rice for me <laughs> I mean lunch is not complete if I do not have a huge plate of rice like it's just it's, I love rice so rice and you know maybe some dal chicken uh chicken curry if I'm you know wanting to try and be vegetarian a certain day which happens sometimes uh then i supplement uh, you know because i need protein so maybe soy and nuggets or paneer or, or something like that but a vegetable always as well uh after lunch around tea time is uh, you know again my cup of chai <laughs> uh but along with that usually a sandwich uh, whether it's a chicken sandwich or a cheese sandwich um or like a a healthy snack like makhana is my new thing and i usually make it at home i don't like you know buying packaged ones because you don't know what goes into them and there's all sorts of preservatives and you know added flavors and what not so uh you know i just roast some makhana puts add some salt and pepper and haldi and and you know that's perfect sometimes i might do uh you know oats in the evening um to mix it up a little bit and my weakest like my biggest temptation is chips <laughs> i love chips wafers you know those birthday party chips you used to get when you were growing up uh and kami has really good chips so i yeah i do that sometimes dinner dinner is uh, dinner is usually my lightest meal and it's really not fixed i, I mean I, i generally never do rice at night um i find it too heavy so it's usually roti or you know maybe just a soup um some salad maybe which i just you know make myself sometimes i do salad by the way as my evening snack as well you know with maybe an, some egg in it and so an egg salad with you know lettuce and tomatoes and cucumber nothing special just you know just the basics with balsamic vinegar 
through the day, so my mom taught me something that I've been doing uh, quite often is she she drinks a lot of nimbu pani through the day but with no sugar, no salt, nothing, just like and very diluted. So it's just a little uh, water uh, nimbu with you know a lot of water. So it's diluted nimbu pani, which is great if you do through the day. It's really uh, detoxing. Um, either that or green tea, which you know I try to. So if in between, if in case you know you're feeling thirsty, you don't want to drink water. I, I do nimbu pani, but like a very diluted version, which I, is actually I've read up somewhere that it's quite healthy. Uh, that depends, you know, I'm not very regimented that way. If I'm eating out, it's usually late. If I work out, sometimes I work out pretty late in the evening and then I eat after that. It can go into 10 o'clock. But then I'm not a very early sleeper, so you know, it's okay. It's not like I eat and go straight to sleep, uh, which is why I don't wake up very early. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, yeah, so it depends. Between nine, usually nine nine thirty is uh, is a safe time, but sometimes it, it goes a little later than that. Between breakfast and lunch, I can't decide. I think lunch. <laughs> I love Indian. Uh, I love Japanese. I love Thai. Uh, I love all food basically. So I used to, for the longest time, for years, I used to work out only in the morning. And when I say morning, I mean late morning, like eleven is just before lunch. So I would finish my workout and then eat my lunch immediately. Uh, but now, you know, with, I have a slightly new routine uh, because I, my trainer now is not free <laughs> in the morning, so I don't have a choice but to work out in the evening. I've kind of got a use, used to it. Uh, so I work out around maybe 8, 7.30, 8 in the evening. As of the last two years, I've gotten really into Pilates. I think it's, you know, one of the best forms of exercise because uh, I realized after I did it, and I mean, I've taken a couple of months break now because I've not had the time, but I can see the difference. And uh, you know, I need to get back to it as soon as I can because I feel like if you if your core is strong, you know, it just helps you in life generally in terms of posture, in terms of like if you if you uh, you know if your job involves a lot of standing or you know sitting straight upright, like it, you if your core is strong, all of that is a cakewalk, and it also helps my regular gym workout uh, to be a better one because if you if you think about it, most of your weight training involves you know bringing your core in as well. And if your core is strong, that just helps you work out better, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I try and get in you know, as much protein, protein as I can post a workout. So sometimes I do eggs straight after a workout, um, you know, maybe about four egg whites, as much, as, basically as much as I can. Uh, but because I, eggs is not my only meal post-workout, right? So I do uh, the eggs straight after, sometimes at the gym itself, and then a meal later, like dinner after that. But protein, yeah, definitely as much as protein as possible post to work out. I never diet. I hate dieting. I, I don't know what dieting means. Uh, even if I tried, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do it for more than a couple of days. And because I love food so much, I just feel that for me it's better to not, I mean, I, I eat whatever I want and whenever I want, but then I you know, try and work out regularly as well. So there's kind of some balance. Uh, but I know that, you know, I think dieting is just not for some people and I'm one of those people. Not really, uh, you know, if, if I feel like cheating a few days, I do. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not so harsh on myself and I'm not that regimental when it comes to food. Um, by default, I eat pretty healthy at home because my mom is a huge health freak. So she makes sure there's never junk food at home and, you know, there's never any um, a pros too much uh, processed food and you know there's no um, aerated drinks and no sweet extra sweet anything so by default not out of choice <laughs> I tend to eat pretty healthy and you know we cook in very little oil and all of that and it's mostly healthy food uh, so I you know I don't but I don't stop myself like when I go out if I, I'm a big foodie and I love trying new restaurants and new cuisine so when I go out I, I don't put any restrictions on myself and I love dessert so, you know, even if it's like whether it's gulab jamun or you know, if it's chocolate cake or whatever it is, I eat it all. Weight training, I hate cardio. Yeah, I, I remember when I was, I mean, I was much younger then and I, this nutritionist, the doctor, told, told my mom, you know, why don't you give her four bananas a day or, you know, something, some ridiculous thing like that. So I tried that a couple of weeks and it, it didn't do anything. <laughs> So, but that's the closest to a diet that I've been to. Uh, nothing fixed, but yeah, I do try to, you know, eat light for a, for a, maybe a week, a few days after, you know, a binge weekend or something. Uh, I maybe try and cut out the sweet, for example, you know, unnecessary things like, you know, dessert can easily go. 
uh, you know, the chips, like I said, and stick to just my main meals and my healthy snacks in between. Is there a healthy alcoholic drink? I have never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, nimbu pani and vodka maybe. I don't. I, I, I can't think of anything healthy. Uh, so that was all about my diet and workout regime. Uh, pretty simple, but I hope you guys liked it. And for more videos like these, like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.